Hi, this is Phoenix Luster with Northside IT, and I'm going to show you how to fix a common problem you have when you're using Windows Server 12, IIS, and um, PHP, and WordPress. I guess that's a large combination, but this will work. This is essentially what's going to happen with all upload files. When you create your upload file and upload it through the web, it goes into a temporary directory, and whatever those permissions are for that temporary directory are going to be transferred over to the uploads directory where you're putting it, in this case, in WordPress. That's a lot of things to go through. So let's just make it a little simpler by opening up the website. So I've created a new page, or I'm creating a new page. And we're just going to call it that. Thing. And we don't care if it's going to spell. So let's upload a file from our computer. And let's do this one. We'll insert it into the page full size. Letter. We'll see that the thumbnail wasn't created correctly. And if we update the page and actually go to the page, we'll see that when we go to the file, we get an error that we can't see it. Um, it's internal server server error, which usually means when it's 500, you have permissions issue when you're dealing with Windows. So let's open up our IIS folder and we'll take a look at our uploads directory. WT content and upload. And let's see the file we just uploaded. We'll take a look at its permission. You can see its security is not set to where it's supposed to be. So we'll go back to the uploads directory and we'll take a look at its security. And this is where it's supposed to be. So see it's getting its permissions for that file from the directory before it whatever was in that temporary directory. So what we got to do is we're going to have to add a php.ini file so that it holds proper permissions that you see here. And to do that, we just create a temp file with these permissions and then we tell php.ini to copy that temp file and from that temp file to the uploads directory. So we could, or we could go in here and just replace all the permissions every time we upload a file. And that's not going to work if you have people editing your file. See, now it'll work because we just replaced the permissions of that directory. So that's another way to check to make sure that we do have that issue. So let's go into our php.ini file. Okay, so let's take a look at our file directories of our inet pub. I set up the temporary directory that I wanted with the permissions I wanted under the inet pub. Temp. Check out the permissions there. Security. IS has full control, so we know that those files will be able to be uploaded. So then let's go into our php.ini file. You'll have to look in IIS as we discussed before on what your default is, and that's usually what's going to run in the PHP.ini. There's a script you can run. You can create a PHP.ini, or I'm sorry, a PHP file that will show you exactly what version is running, but it's also done inside IIS. So, open up the PHP.ini, and we'll do a search for our upload. And you'll see that file upload is on and upload temp directory is inet pub ww root temp. Now you may find out that if you just have this set, it's not gonna let you upload. You're still gonna get an error and you're still gonna be hitting your head on the ground. So what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom of this file. So you see the web PI changes. This you have to put the directory in here as well. Set your time if you want. Change mine to New York as a standard, change it to Indiana. You make your changes there, then you save your directory or save your file. Close it out. And where you wasn't able to upload before. So PHP file. Add 
media file, upload, keep it full size, put it under the page, and bam, there it is. And that's how you fix the PHP upload issue. If you want to see it online, it right there. So you're now functional. This will allow your uh, contact forms to work too. So these will work. No, we deal with that with SMTP. That's right. That'll be a different lesson. But if you're uploading files with your contact form, it will allow you to do that. 